In today's video, we're going to survey and briefly summarize the book of Jeremiah. Then afterwards, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around until the end. As for the author, Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 1 identifies the prophet Jeremiah as the author of the book of Jeremiah. As for the date of writing, the book of Jeremiah was written between 630 and 580 BC. Now, as for the purpose of writing, the book of Jeremiah records the final prophecies to Judah, warning of oncoming destruction if the nation does not repent. Jeremiah calls out for the nation to turn back to God. At the same time, Jeremiah recognizes the inevitability of Judah's destruction due to its unrepentant idolatry and immorality. Here are some key verses. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and beyond cure. Who can understand it? Jeremiah 29, verses 10 and 11. This is what the Lord says. When 70 years are completed for Babylon, I will come to you and fulfill my gracious promise to bring you back to this place. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah chapter 52, verses 12 and 13. On the tenth day of the fifth month, in the nineteenth year of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, Nebuzaradan, commander of the imperial guard who served the king of Babylon, came to Jerusalem. He set fire to the temple of the Lord, the royal palace, and all the houses of Jerusalem. Every important building he burned down. As for a brief summary, the book of Jeremiah is primarily a message of judgment on Judah for rampant idolatry, Jeremiah chapter 7, verses 30 through 34. After the death of King Josiah, the last righteous king, the nation of Judah had almost completely abandoned God and his commandments. Jeremiah compares Judah to a prostitute, Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 20. God had promised that he would judge idolatry most severely, Leviticus chapter 26, verses 31 through 33, and Jeremiah was warning Judah that God's judgment was at hand. God had delivered Judah from destruction on countless occasions, but his mercy was at its end. Jeremiah records King Nebuchadnezzar conquering Judah and making it subject to him, Jeremiah chapter 24, verse 1. After further rebellion, God brought Nebuchadnezzar and the Babylonian armies back to destroy and desolate Judah and Jerusalem, Jeremiah chapter 52. Even in this most severe judgment, God promises the restoration of Judah back into the land God has given them, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 10. As for foreshadowings, Jeremiah chapter 23, verses 5 through 6 presents a prophecy of the coming Messiah, Jesus Christ. The prophet describes him as a branch from the house of David, verse 5, the king, who would reign in wisdom and righteousness. It is Christ who will finally be recognized by Israel as her true Messiah, as he provides salvation for his chosen ones, verse 6. Now for some practical application. The prophet Jeremiah had a most difficult message to deliver. Jeremiah loved Judah, but he loved God much more. As painful as it was for Jeremiah to deliver a consistent message of judgment to his own people, Jeremiah was obedient to what God told him to do and say. Jeremiah hoped and prayed for mercy from God for Judah, but he also trusted that God was good, just, and righteous. We too must obey God, even when it's difficult, recognize God's will as more important than our own desires, and trust that God in His infinite wisdom and perfect plan will bring about the best for His children. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content, and check out the details section below this video. There's one book I recommend, along with several links to related questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch, or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, got questions? The Bible has answers. We'll help you find them.